that in the van, put it on his face for, hit, for oh. her and hit oh, both of you, and she helped. Yeah, the second time, this corny shit just that. Once Jerry died, Garcia, Micah went <laughs> off the wall. I, feel, I was like, oh, oh, I gotta take a piss, fly away, everybody. No, hey. I'll fly away with your fucking fist. How, do you, how are you friends with somebody if you fight so much? I don't get it. Brandon, no, I don't fucking punch work. me, man. I don't want to punch you. Fucking hit me right here. I fucking hit me. Just like when I listen to your lines, I don't say anything, you can do it because I can do it. Do it. Hey, let's punch each other in the. I remember like leaving Las Vegas going, how are we going to get gas money to the next show? Because all the cash we got for this whole week is gone. Of course we anticipated the argument brawling between the band. If you take four guys, stick them in a van with no personal space, what do you think's gonna happen? The problem was we were fighting five days to do a two month tour. I heard that you can scream and yell, it's the perfect atmosphere. And I hope you truly come. With all the good go wrong, my freedom leads me here. And I think there's more to come. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this note on top of my shit in front of their door so they have to do something with it. Housekeeping. <laughs> Bye. Fucking chick right across the way. People don't really like us in the mornings because everyone's working hard and we're just kind of fucking around all morning. Lots of people working. If I had to say anything for the crew, I think the crew is kind of pissed, you know, because they uh, they have to put up with all these stupid things that Mark and I want to do. We heard some band called Cut You Up was going to be here. We had no idea who these guys were. Worried about just a bunch of punk kids running around, you know, wrecking havoc, and uh, it's pretty much right. And they're drunken buffoons, but. That's the beauty of it. They don't care. They're the real deal. There's no bullshit with them. That's who they are. They drink all day and then they go on and play some trippy acid rock thing and drink more. That's why I decided to change their name to Cut You Off because I thought they'd had enough. I think if the, the whole crew saw Cut You Off the first couple of days and probably thought that, you know, if these guys last the first month, they'll be dead or in jail. I'm like lounging on the stage as people are moving like heavy boxes, you know, yelling at each other. This is crazy. Honestly, there's boxes flying around. People are putting shit in boxes. I saw the singer directing traffic during a loadout. Hey, get that up there! Make a hole! Get it on there! Get that pipe! Get here, You're not even a fucking rock star. And you're sitting on our stage like, I'm, can you move so I can put this amp up? first few days it's kind of like you still stay in your own world and you don't really branch out that much but then you know you start meeting new characters and like people who build the stage and stuff there's a guy Rigger Dan who would he's a total character you must listen to Rigger Dan if you want to know what to do when the time comes when your band makes it hey, let's have a wet t-shirt and you contest. don't know what to do you must listen to Dan Rigger Excuse Dan me? no maybe what? that's exactly what I'm saying are you in? I mean, are you in? Are you they, in? Even that they, the, they hesitated. This is fucking upsetting, man. You guys should look at this and learn from this. What hey. not to do. This, this is a fucking high school helmet party in here, man. <laughs> I, I thought that guy was great. Like, what the fuck? Why is your finger missing? Mothers lock up your daughters. Rhodes have crazy personalities, and he's like, best example of it. He's fucked.
Backstage at the shows is always as, as fun as hell. I mean, everyone is bored because they're waiting for their turn to start, but everyone's looking for something fun to do. And there's like not much to do except throw apples at walls or steal golf carts, get really drunk, things of that nature, pretty much. San Diego, Jose Cuervo! Dude, this shit's gnarly, dude, but I'll do it. I'll do it, fuck it, I don't care. Go, 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 oh. Oh my god, what is this shit? There's alcohol, I can get a fucking dick in. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred bucks if you do a kickflip with no shoes. The two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. 